This is going to be a real quick demo of how to create a helix in SolidWorks. So I'm going to create mine on the top plane. The first thing that I'm going to need to do is create a sketch. So helixes are actually a feature. They're not um, a sketch per se. They're actually a feature. So I'm just going to create a circle. And let's have my circle have a one inch diameter. And I'll close it out of that. That's all we need to really draw. Then we go into features, and I've got mine under curves here. You might not have that option, so you might actually go up here to insert features, or excuse me, curve, and helix spiral. So we'll grab that, and there's a couple of different settings. You can play around with them. It's automatically set on pitch and revolution. I'm going to actually choose height and revolution because I know how high I want this helix to be and how many revolutions I want. So I'm going to go to constant pitch. You can actually play with variable pitch. Let's just make this a two inch high helix and we'll do 10 revolutions and click OK. Now that is really all you need to create a helix and this is the basis for making a whole bunch of cool features like springs. Um, and if you want to make this into a spring that's pretty easy to do. Just click on this, use a swept boss base and we'll do a circular profile and um, we'll grab the diameter first and we'll make this so oh, a sixteenth of an inch circle grab that click check and we've got our super fancy spring now notice that both of these are features and the helix is not a sketch it's based off of a sketch so it works just like a feature and I will hide that so you can see our fancy spring